Good morning, dears. How are you all? Hope all are enjoying your holidays. Today we are going to see angle properties in parallel line. Do you remember parallel line? What are parallel lines? Any examples you know? Yes, we know already. We discussed the train tracks, the railway tracks are the best example for parallel lines, right? Here, the line AB and the line CD, these both are parallel, right? Can you see? And there is another line, a third line cuts these parallel lines. So, this is called transversal, okay? You know this? So, already we have studied this, the parallel lines, uh, the third line cuts the parallel lines, that is called a transversal. You know this, right? So, but when we, uh, sorry, when the third line cut the parallel lines, there are eight angles will be formed. What are they? Come, let's see. Corresponding angles. What, uh, what are corresponding angles? It looks like in the shape of alphabet F. So, here we have angle C and angle G. Where it is? Angle C and angle G, angle C and angle G, these two are corresponding, corresponding angles are equal to each other, so both are same, yes, then the other two pairs of angles are the alternate angles, how the alternate angles we can find it, it makes Z in shape, okay, so look at here, the angle G and F, angle G and F, it's in the shape of Z. Angle G and angle F both are alternate angles. These two are equal to each other. Good morning dears. How are you all? Yes, today we are going to see about angle properties in parallel lines. Look at this. What are these A, B and C, D? These two lines. These two are parallel to each other, right? And there is, I am going to draw another line to cut these two parallel lines. But this third line is called transversal. You remember it? This is called transversal. Okay. So when it cuts the, the third line, when it cuts uh, the two parallel lines, we get eight pairs of angles. Right? Look at here. One, two, three, four. We can name this A, B, C, D. So here four angles and here too we have four angles fine now we can name it e f g and h okay now look at this here there are eight pairs of angles and we have, we can see it is uh, corresponding angles are there and alternate angles are there what are corresponding angles corresponding angles when we have F shape, F shape, it creates corresponding angles. How it is? See, look at this. The red line here. This is like F. In another side also, 